Good, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very glad to be here to the PPT, uh, talk about our uh, uh, program in Shandong University. So it's not the first one. I think uh, we have, um, well, let, let me, I can move that. Uh, our university is pretty typical uh, in cultural heritage work uh, based on the archaeology and uh, gradually extend to the uh, conservation and uh, cultural uh, heritage uh, protection. So here's the, the, the location of our uh, university in Jinan, in eastern China, the area. <clears throat> and uh, our job subject of archaeology appeared pretty early, back to the, uh, the, the beginning of the uh, last century. And uh, we created our uh, specialty in 1972 and uh, uh, got to key discipline, uh, uh, this plan of uh, pro local province uh, in 2006. And that's the demonstration uh, center uh, in 2009. And uh, it, in the past two years, in, it, in 2012, got to uh, top three subject in China. So this year we will uh, uh, have another uh, uh, reputation. It's a joint international laboratory. It's mainly based on the cooperation with uh, Yale. Uh, Dr. Andy Hill is here uh, with Yale and uh, the Field Museum in Chicago. So we carry out uh, over 20 years cooperation in, in, in coast Shandong, uh, coast area of China. So. This is our uh, foundation of a subject. Uh, so in, the, uh, in our university, we have uh, uh, around um, 27 faculty members in our department. We have also uh, uh, the Institute for uh, Cultural Heritage and Museum. So from the, uh, uh, the end of the last century, uh, or uh, 19, 1995, we have we, we carry out uh, the, the cooperation with the with with, with the foreigners to let uh, we uh, uh, you know uh, promote our developing in, in the recent 20 years. Here is the oops, here is the uh, laboratory we, we we now so far uh, uh, in total is eight laboratory focused on zoology, archaeobotany, and physical anthropology even. Uh, Astop uh, uh, analysis laboratory, and uh, these years we extended to the conservation, uh, to the archaeological materials, organic and uh, and, and metals. Also, uh, the new one is uh, laboratory cavation. We cut the, the you know the burials into the into the uh, laboratory to get a very very deep, very careful cavation. A lot of new discoveries in our li uh, laboratories. And also, uh, we developed to the to archaeological site, site protected design, uh, design. So we will see that uh, in in, uh, uh, in the other slides. So here we we this, this is education and the research field. We have a very systematic training program from the BA, MA, and the PhD. All archaeological students will join a field school at least once during in the uh, spring season, like today, like uh, uh, we are come back. We uh, have two uh, few schools open uh, in Shandong and beyond. And the research uh, mainly focused on archeology, span uh, uh, focused on prehistory, historic period, and museology and uh, cultural heritage. Museology and the cultural heritage is pretty new in our university. It's also uh, pretty typical in China. Uh, uh, mostly archaeology based on history, and uh, to uh, develop to the science-based archaeology, laboratory work, and also museology and the cultural heritage studies. Uh, so I, I, I should mention the international collaborations. It's uh, really uh, bring us uh, new ideas and the method for archaeology. So here is uh, Archaeological survey, uh, full coverage survey in in, in Shandong. Uh, this one is the excavation uh, in Liangcheng Zheng. It's uh, uh, 4,000 uh, five 
uh, years ago, you know, Longshan culture is uh, well known uh, in prehistory in China, a later, uh, later period of, of prehistory. And the map uh, is still the cooperation uh, universities and the institutes in the, in the world, in different countries. Uh, here I, I met some uh, uh, friend from uh, UCL. Yeah, we have uh, some you know cooperation with UCL in in, in uh, uh, archaic botanic studies. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, these years, I, like I mentioned, so we extend our uh, work to. Uh, site protection. This, uh, this is the third one we we uh, we are doing now to protect to protect uh, our Bronze Age site in Shandong. Uh, you know, not like uh, in Middle East. In China, it's a problem to come from developing of of economic, because uh, uh, during the uh, these these thirty years, uh, when the you know uh, industry come to to, to, to develop very fast, economic fast. Uh, but many sites, particularly in the, in the uh, uh, in rural area, the, the site was occupied by high traffic, uh, highway, and, uh, and, and the reservoirs, and uh, many things come from, many problems come from the developing. So like this site, it's uh, uh, not just a coast site, it's, uh, it's uh, close to the two villages. Because it's located in yeah, very uh, good traffic uh, points, so the crisis comes from these. So we try to protect, uh, the, to protect the site. So, so we probing and uh, excavation site and uh, uh, decide to which pair should be different function, how to use the site, how to protect the site. That's what we, we are doing now. Uh, so Liang Chengzhen site is the, the cooperation site we, with the EO. And uh, it's a local museum uh, collections, and uh, these huge mound is uh, it's a uh, it's a looted uh, burials is huge mound. So usually we uh, we we work with these things. We refilled uh, refilled the, the burials, but uh, if the small scale burial like these, we will do a risk Uh It's uh, okay, uh, Dr. Andy Hill. So we we also do public public archaeology to local citizens. So it's uh, here, we, what do we have done? Thank you very much. <laughs>